Hello YouTube, I'm the Norwegian Completionist and this is my moose hunting guide for Red Dead Redemption 2. Now before you begin using this method, you really should visit Pearson and have him craft the Legend of the East Satchel for you, as this increases your carrying capacity for many items, including bait. Now this method requires a lot of bait, so you need this satchel in order for this method to be time efficient. Now we're going to be using the standard herbivore bait, but you can buy at any of the trappers in the world. The reason for this is that the standard bait has a smaller range than the potent one, and when you place a bait on the ground and no animal is in range of that bait, the game will simply spawn an animal for you when you're far enough away and looking in another direction. Now this is the mechanic that we're going to try to use to force moose to spawn. Now let me show you all the spawn locations. I've placed red markers on all the areas where moose can spawn naturally, or in this case areas where we're going to be using bait to make them spawn. Now currently I'm near Willard's Rest, which is all the way northeast on the map. And this is going to be the first location that I'll use to demonstrate this method to you. Once we've done that, I'll quickly try to show you the rest of the spawn locations, so that you can start doing a lap of the map yourself. Now, I'm sure many of you are only hunting the western bull moose, the thing is that you can actually spawn the western bull in pretty much all these locations. And the only spot that I haven't been able to do it so far is Cattail Pond. But I mean, considering the fact that you could spawn it in all the other locations, I'm fairly confident in saying you can probably spawn it there too. Let me show you the first location and exactly how this method is going to work. The first thing you're going to want to do when you arrive at one of these areas is to scare away any nearby animals as you obviously don't want to waste your bait on them. And also make sure that there are no random events in the area, as they seem to interfere with animal spawns. Now, random events can be anything from NPCs who've been bitten by snakes, enemy gang ambushes, that kind of thing. Now usually I place six baits at each location, there's no point in using any more than that. There seems to be a limit of around six animals you can spawn at a time. So once you've dropped the bait, you simply ride away for a bit while looking in another direction. The distance you have to ride seems to vary a bit, but it usually it's not very far. If you don't get a moose spawn the first time around, simply ride back in and scare off the animals that did spawn, and repeat the process until you get a moose. It usually takes between one to three attempts. Now as you can see, there are currently no animals where I just dropped the baits. So I decided to ride a bit further, and when I turned back around, suddenly there was a moose just standing between the trees there. So hopefully you have a good idea about how this method works now. So let me just start showing you the other locations. Now the next location I'm going to show you is near Beaver Hollow, northwest of Annisburg, near the river. Now this location has many random events that can spawn in the nearby area, so I'd recommend that you do a lap of the area and check for those before you start placing any baits. Once you've done that, just place the baits and find a good vantage point. Usually I just cross the river and sit on top of a rock there that I'll show you here in a second. So here's the rock that I was talking about. This is a fairly decent vantage point, but this area has many trees, so it can be a bit tricky to see properly. But you'll be able to see the moose on the other side here soon. So, the third location is going to be Oak Craig's Run, which is an area I'm sure many of you are already familiar with. You can see where I've placed the red marker, so just place the bait in that general area. So in this clip I actually managed to spawn two moose, which is great if you still need their pelts, obviously. And also you spawn a lot of horses using this method, so you can always grab one of them if you need to transport more than one pelt at a time. Yep. 
easy. So the fourth location is going to be the northernmost road in the East Grizzlies. Now in this clip I was just riding up here to play some baits and instead I found this little sneaky bastard just sitting here minding his own business. So of course, you know, I immediately murder him because, you know, I'm a reasonable person. But yeah, sometimes you might just get lucky. Now obviously most of the time this isn't going to be the case, but this location works just like the others. So you can just place bait where you saw him standing in the previous clip or where you see me standing right now and you should be fine. So the fifth location is not too far away. It's between the I and the N in Amberino. Now I decided to use this clip as I'm able to spawn a moose here at 2 a.m. So I've been able to spawn moose at pretty much all times of day. So this just goes to show that time of day doesn't seem to matter when you're using this method. So, location number six is going to be Cattail Pond. Now, like I mentioned earlier, this is the only location where I've still not been able to spawn the Western Bull Moose. Now, if you decide to test this spot anyways, and you're able to spawn the Bull Moose, then uh, leave, it, leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know about it. Time to go, boy. So, location number seven is going to be along the Dakota River, south of Cumberland Falls. And here you're just uh, going to drop the bait along the riverbank. There's nothing special about this location, it's pretty straightforward. So, location number 8 is also going to be along the Dakota River, but this time south of the crossroads beneath Caliban Seed. And again, it's the same thing here, you just drop the bait along the riverbank. So, location number 8 is going to be Lake Owangila, which is uh, west of Strawberry. And this was the location where, for the first time, I was able to spawn three moose simultaneously. And one of them was actually a bull moose. I almost managed to lose all my footage of this, as I was a little bit excited when it happened. But I do have the last half of the clip, which I'll add after the one I'm currently showing you. Now, you can actually see one of the normal moose just swimming away across the lake uh, on the left side of the screen at the beginning of the clip. Hey, friend. So I'll show you the next clip now. If you look at the left side of the screen, you can actually see the moose swimming away. And on the bank here, obviously, the western bull moose is lying dead. So 
We can actually spawn them here. So, location number 9 is going to be Barrow Lagoon, which is northeast of Mount Hagen. Now, here you can just drop the bait on the lake itself, pretty straightforward. Now, if you're going up to these locations in the snowy mountains, it, it does have some downsides. The visibility can be pretty poor up here at times, and it's quite a distance to the nearest trapper. So, if, you're, if you decide to come up here, try to bring more than one horse. Now, location number 10 is going to be Lake Isabella, the same spot where the White Arabian horse spawns. This was actually the first spot where I ever encountered a western bull moose, as you'll see in this clip. But this is obviously extremely rare for him to just be here when you arrive, so you'll probably have to drop bait. Uh, and you can see where in the clip that I'm showing you now. Now you can see what I was talking about earlier about the visibility up here, but at least this ended up leading to one of the coolest shots that I've ever recorded in this game, at least I think so. Because um, you see, I can't really see anything across the other side, so I just decided to ride over. I'm just riding through the blizzard, not being able to see anything, and then just out of nowhere this huge magnificent animal just appears. So of course I immediately had to ruin this epic experience. Well, you know, at least uh, I got him in the end, so uh, <laughs> it was it was worth yep. it. <laughs> so the final location I'm going to be showing you in this video is obviously going to be Cairn Lake, one of the most famous spots for hunting moose. Now. It's pretty much the same here, you just drop the bait around the lake and uh, there's a little hill on the side of the lake here you can run up on top of that gives you a great vantage point of the lake itself. So hopefully you found this video helpful, if you did I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and if you have any information regarding moose that I am not included in this video, please leave a comment in the comment section below, as I am considering making another video that includes all my footage from after I finish the game and the new locations that open up then. So, that being said, I wish you the best of luck, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Peace.